So it's me, your little boy, Ike Samson. I have something special for us today. You know, they are jealous of everything about you. Yes, let me just be real with us choosing ones. They are really jealous of every single thing that they are seeing around you. <laughs> Not that they don't love you. Not that they don't love you, but they are jealous. Not that they don't like you, but just because of the things which they are seeing within you. Just because of the fact that you are growing better than them. Just because of the fact that you are working more better than them. Just because of the fact that they know that you are succeeding better than them. <laughs> because sometimes when we are doing well, we are doing great. We always think that people around us don't know things about us. But the real truth is this. They truly know how successful and how great you are doing. They truly know how marvelous you are doing. But they will never tell you. <laughs> they will never tell you. So my brothers, my sisters, the real truth is this. They are jealous of every single thing that they are seeing within and around you. They are jealous of the fact that you are succeeding and you are not failing like them. They are jealous of the fact that your future is automatically, <laughs> you know, secured. Yes, believe me, a lot and majority of people up there are jealous because your future is protected. You are not that type of person that is going to do it, that is going to end up in shame, which they know. You are not that type of person that is going to end up in regretting why you come to this world, which they know. So that is why they will always end up hating you. Believe me. <laughs> That's why sometimes if you are blaming them, you know, for hating you, you are like making the worst mistake. Yes, believe me. If you are that type of person who still have these attitudes, like uh, you, you are not happy because people are jealous of you, you need to come to understand right now. You need to understand this right now, that they need not to do what to do or to love you. And there is no reason for them to love you. And they ought to do it to be jealous of you. Yes, let me be real. They ought, when I mean ought, they're supposed to be jealous of you. Because think about it. Even the blessing that you don't deserve, the unmeritable, unmeritable favor, unmeritable blessing, unmeritable you know, pro protection, unmeritable security, everything, unmeritable good head, unmeritable food, unmeritable resources you are getting. And you think that someone up there we will we, not have reason to do or they, to, to, to jealous you. No, let's be real. Let's be real choosing once. Let's be real at once. So they truly have reason to hate you. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm sorry for saying the truth. They truly have all reason to hate you. You know what I'm saying? I'm truly sorry for saying the truth. So you are doing well and God is blessing you. Despite of everything you have, you went through, right in front of them you are still standing so tell me why you are you you may be feeling sad because someone is is jealous of you when god is providing all your needs according to his riches in glory <laughs> hey god god of god of wonder so the truth is this they have a reason to do it to be angry yes believe me i'm sorry for saying the truth <laughs> Because one, you are looking good. You are looking nice. Everything you touch is protected. Everything you touch is secured. So, and you yourself, you are, you are doing well. Within you, you know that where you do used to be last year, that is not exactly the same place. Let's just be real with ourselves. That is not the same place where you are right now. And you are expecting them to love you. No, let's just be real. This is why my daddy used to tell me. He said something, the day you will grow out, the day you will, you will grow, you will understand the reason why I, all, I always wake up in the night to go and hustle. But when I left my mom, you know, I was talking to one of my friends today. You know, we are just making gist, you know, laughing and smiling. So I tell one of my friends that 
when I was at home, you know, as a last born, I'm, which each of us know, as a last born, when I was at home, I'm, I'm that type of person that, you know, I always play that if my mom, you know, if they give me food or maybe they give me money to, to do something, you know, I feel like I deserve everything that they are giving me. You know, I feel like I deserve even more better than that. So sometimes if I come back from school like this, food is already there, everything is already there. I would just feel like, ah, let me eat, you know, every day. Uh, I deserve it as a last one, you know, I deserve it. So when I left home, then uh, after, uh, after going to long distance, come back from work, I, I realized no food to eat. Then I pick up and call my mom. I say, mom, ah, now I realize that you are, a, you, you are indeed a queen, a hidden queen that I have never been able to discover. <laughs> She says, I said, what is going on? I said, I just come back from work. I look around me. There is no food. <laughs> Nobody advised me to enter kitchen. <laughs> so what am I trying to say is this? Why am I saying this? It's because many people have looked you know, many people have looked around you. There is no sources of what breakthrough. Many people have looked around you before. There is no sources of like, like, like greatness. They don't even imagine whether you'll be successful. But it's so daily they start to see river, <laughs> rivers of what uniqueness flowing. That is why Elijah said, "There may not be the rain, there may not be the moon." It is now that I discovered the deep meaning of that word of Elisha when he said to Ahab, "He said, run as fast as you can." Why? Because there may not be the wind, there may not be the rain, but the valley will be filled of water. And many of us are still coming to this point, be expecting people not to hate us, when God is providing all your needs. So you don't need to be angry because someone is hating you, because they have reason to hate you, and they're supposed to hate you. And I'm not telling you that they ought not, they truly ought to hate you. Why? Because you are doing great. You are prospering, and you are increasing. You know what I'm saying? They ought to hate you. But because the more they hate you, the more you are blessed. You know what I'm saying? May God bless you. Remain blessed.